morning, interns. Today marks the first of several challenges through which your team will show their merits. While internally dogfooding a new product, a number of Googlers reported a bug that disabled their audio. All two million lines of that code are in the source files. Your job, find the bug. Okay, we should check the user report. Oh, scan the logs for any red flags. See what exceptions were thrown. I always start by drawing up strategies to sift through the code. Code, right? Code, right? Codes. So um, at the end of the day, we're looking to kind of break the password here, right? Maybe the answer's in the question. Maybe it's something with bug. Eureka! Bug like fly. The fly! Is Teddy a cinephile? Goldblum. Goldblum! Boggles my mind that no one has a notebook out. You guys are focused on writing this gibberish. Maybe that's helpful, maybe it's not. But I guarantee you what we're saying is helpful. Guys, we're looking for a bug, not a password. They're different things. Keep going with that oh, human geez. connection you, want, you had. Let's go positive. positive. Let's not carry the radar. Go, 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 the YOF. And it's word scrambling, it's life. For some reason, I can't get fly out of my mind. And now I'm going Lopez, Jennifer Lopez. Is it a fly girl? Super fly, pop fly, uh, excavation, earthquakes, California. That's it, write that down. Do it, do it. Where? You write it down, but Where? type it in. What am I Would doing? Please stop. No, we're working. No, we're working. Yeah, and that's a Sharpie, by the way, genius. That's my fault. I had wasted that. What you just saw is an exciting scene from the movie The Internship that shows two groups of people from the same team working towards a shared goal, finding the bug. One group employs a more direct and precise approach, searching for the bug in the code and reviewing the user's reports. The other one, they employ a broader approach, attempting to think out of the box and find the bug by not following a literal approach. Which group finds the bug? I will let you watch the movie to find out. For our purposes here today, I would like to refer to this practice of combining multiple approaches as hybrid search. Welcome to today's video where we will dive into hybrid search, a powerful approach revolutionizing how we find information in our increasingly complex data landscape. Hybrid search combines the precision of traditional text search with the semantic understanding of vector search, delivering more relevant results to users. Let's break it down what this means and why it matters. Try to think about hybrid search this way. Text search is like that super literal friend who needs exact wording to understand you. They are great at finding specific stuff, but miss one keyword and you are out of luck, right? Vector search, though, it's more like that intuitive friend who gets what you mean even when you are not being super precise. They understand the meaning behind your own words. Put them together and the magic happens. Let me give you a real world example. Say you are looking for healthy recipes with feta cheese. The text search makes sure you are actually going to get recipes with feta, not cheddar, not goat cheese, while the vector search understand by healthy, you might also be interested in low carb or vegetable focused options. Even if they don't specifically say healthy in the title. Pretty neat, huh? Now let's try to understand how hybrid search works, but don't worry, I won't get too technical here. Essentially, hybrid search uses some clever methods to combine results. One of those methods is called reciprocal rank fusion or RRF. Sounds fancy, I know. But it is basically just looking at where each result ranks in both search types and then combining those rankings in a smart way. Another approach is called relative score fusion or RSF, which is like normalizing all score to a fair playing field before combining them. Think of it as like converting different currencies to a single one so you can compare them fairly. Some systems even use what is called dense and sparse vectors, one for capturing keywords and another for capturing the meaning. Together, they give you the complete picture. Before we actually dig a little bit further into hybrid search, you might be wondering, okay, but why should I actually care about hybrid search? Well, quite a lot, actually. First off, it makes finding stuff so much easier. No more of those guess the exact keyword game. You can search more naturally, the way you actually think. For businesses, it means understanding what people are really looking for, not just words they're using. 
This insight, trust me, is gold. And let's talk about time savings. We all want more of that, right? Finding what you need faster means more time actually using the information rather than hunting them. Now, let me tell you a little bit of a secret here. This technology, hybrid search, is already all around you. Have you ever noticed, for example, how streaming services somehow know exactly what TV show you might want to watch next? Hybrid search is often behind those smart recommendations. Have you seen those AI chatbots that actually give you helpful answers? They are probably using hybrid search behind the scenes to find the relevant information even before responding back to you. When you are shopping online and you are finding products that exactly match your vibe, even when you are using some casual language. Yep, that's hybrid search at work. And even if you ever search it through companies' knowledge base or document libraries, hybrid search makes finding that specific PDF or image so much easier. If you are thinking about implementing hybrid search in your own projects, here are a few friendly tips for you. Number one, garbage in, garbage out. Make sure your data is clean and well structured. Number two, choose a vector database that can grow with you. The last thing you want is for your database not to scale with your business. And number three, test different ranking methods to see what works best for your specific content. Number four, always keep an eye on how users are interacting with search results so you can fine-tune your settings and everything for your implementation. So, there you have it. Hybrid search isn't just some technical buzzword. It is a practical solution that makes finding information faster, smarter, and more intuitive. Whether you are building that next big app or just trying to find the perfect recipe for dinner, Hybrid Search is making our digital world a lot easier to navigate. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If you found this helpful, smash that like button and subscribe for more straightforward tech talk about AI applications. Got questions? I would love to hear them here in the comments below. Catch you in the next one.